How to research. Research. It's a term that we often hear, but what does it really entail? At the end of the day, research is simply about finding reliable answers to questions. It can be easy to stumble upon misinformation, so it's important to enter research with a thoughtful and organized approach that includes figuring out what you're looking for, digging into the right places, and piecing together the puzzle. Strong research skills are crucial in various aspects of life, education, and professional pursuits. Knowing where and how to search for information and having the capacity to evaluate the quality and relevance of the sources we encounter enables us to navigate an ever-evolving world with confidence and adaptability. Whether you're a student hunting for information for your latest assignment, a professional navigating industry trends, or you're simply a curious mind seeking a deeper understanding of a particular subject, research is your ticket to unlocking knowledge. As technology advances, the landscape of research has evolved, offering a plethora of digital resources and tools. The sheer amount of information available can become overwhelming, and that's why, in this video, we'll explore the intricacies of effective research, along with some helpful steps to guide your journey. No two research journeys will be identical, so think of these steps as guidelines to help keep you on the right path. Hopefully, once we're done, you'll be ready to navigate the world of research with confidence and skill. Define your research question or topic. The first step to successful research is to clearly define your topic. This will form the foundation of your research moving forward. A general rule of thumb is to begin by identifying your general area of interest within the boundaries of your assignment, and then narrow it down by asking specific questions within that domain. Aim for a topic that's specific enough to delve into deeply, yet broad enough to find sufficient credible sources and make meaningful contributions to your project. This topic will help to give your research a clear direction and purpose. Background reading. Next, you'll want to review existing literature to understand what is already known about your topic and where potential gaps may be. This will help you avoid duplication and allow you to build on existing knowledge. Examine existing scholarly works, articles, books, and other relevant sources to gain a foundational knowledge base. Identify key concepts and terms. Extract key concepts themes, or terms related to your topic. This will help you refine your research and understand the vocabulary used in your field. Take detailed notes. Creating a conceptual map or outline to visualize the relationship between ideas. Refine your research queries based on the identified concepts and terms. This process sharpens search queries, helping you navigate databases more effectively and engage with scholarly discourse in a nuanced manner. Develop a research strategy. In developing a research strategy, it's crucial to carefully plan the types of sources that will best contribute to your understanding of the topic, whether they be scholarly books, articles, or primary documents. By defining the nature of the information that you seek, you streamline your search and ensure relevance to your research objectives. This strategy will also help the decision on the most appropriate databases, libraries, and archives available within your field of study optimizing the efficiency and effectiveness of your research process. Search for sources. The searching stage of your assignment can often take a long time, but putting in the time at this stage will reward you with relevant results that will make writing your assignment much easier. Utilize library catalogs, academic databases, and search engines to find various types of scholarly sources. Experiment with different search terms and combinations to broaden or narrow your results and find more relevant information. Evaluate sources. While collecting content from your library and from around the web, you should also be evaluating the information for quality. Keep in mind that not all information you find online is credible, reliable, or even appropriate for your topic. So it is important to take a closer look at what you're reading. Use evaluation checklists such as the CRAP test to evaluate the quality of your sources. Read and take notes. Engage deeply with the selected sources. Take comprehensive notes and record key information, arguments, and evidence. Comprehensive note-taking involves capturing not only key information, but also the nuances of the arguments and the evidence supporting them, ensuring a thorough understanding of the source's perspective. Synthesize information. Analyze and amalgamate the information gathered from different sources. Identify common themes contradictions, or gaps in the existing literature. This process involves connecting the dots between various insights, weaving a comprehensive understanding of the topic. 
Ultimately, synthesizing information allows you to contribute meaningful insights, fostering a nuanced perspective within the broader discourse of your chosen field. Create an outline. Develop an outline for your research paper or project. Organize your ideas and evidence in a logical structure. At this stage, you transform the wealth of information you've researched into a structured framework. This structure ensures a seamless flow of arguments and prevents the haphazard arrangement of information. By defining the key points and supporting evidence, the outline acts as a blueprint, simplifying the development of a well-structured and persuasive research paper or project. Write and revise. Begin drafting your research paper, essay, or project. Ensure that your writing is clear, concise, and well supported by evidence. Revise and edit your work for coherence, clarity, and adherence to academic conventions. Make sure to follow any specific instructions that your instructor has outlined. Properly cite sources. Always use appropriate citation styles, for example, MLA, APA, and Chicago, to give credit to the sources you have so carefully curated. See the How to Cite module on the Learning Portal for more information on the importance of citing sources. Seek feedback. Share your work with peers, mentors, or advisors to receive constructive feedback. This can help you refine your argument and improve the overall quality of your research. Make any necessary revisions. Publish, share, or submit. Finally, you can share your finished paper or project with the world. If applicable, share your research findings through academic journals, conferences, presentations, or submit your assignment to your instructor. Conducting effective research is not just about gathering information. It's about transforming that knowledge into a powerful tool. Each step, from defining your objectives, diving into your sources, critically evaluating information, to finally synthesizing findings, contributes to your ability to make informed decisions, meaningful connections, and contribute to your area of interest. Remember, flexibility is key, and these steps may overlap or require adjustments based on the nature of your research. Adapt the process to suit the specific requirements of your project. So, whether you're embarking on an academic endeavor, chasing professional insights, or just satisfying your curiosity, the ability to conduct effective research equips you with the tools to understand, interpret, and contribute to the ever-expanding landscape of human knowledge. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and happy researching.